We've got some new releases from Adobe, and there's one specifically that really surprised me, and that's Generative Extent, which is now out of beta and in the general release of Premiere Pro. If you haven't heard about it, it's an AI tool that will allow you to generate more frames at the start or end of a clip. There's a few other new updates, which we'll talk about at the end, but it's Generative Extend that really stood out this time because to be honest, based on what I was able to get out of the 1080 beta version, I did not expect this to be usable yet. But you tell me, I'll show you three clips. See if you can guess which has either the beginning or ending of the clip extended. <laughs> The answer to that is all of them, but I'm genuinely curious. Let me know below if you got that right or not. And this also gave me an idea for a fun game with Josh and Justin. Get the oh, I oh my God! And that's what really matters here. Today's episode is in partnership with Adobe, but as I say every time, if we don't really love it, we don't partner. Very good. Moving on. The issue this solves is a pacing one. I do often find myself needing more frames before a cut. Maybe the actor blinked or moved. Maybe it's a VFX shot I wish lasted just one second longer. Normally, I would use speed ramp to solve this, but that can get tricky for obvious reasons. But now, I'll grab the generative extend tool, then drag out to generate up to two extra seconds in my clip. And that is insane. With the beta, most of the clips that I tried had a noticeable shift to the generated frames, which made it unusable. But here, here, it's the opposite. Most of the clips that I'm trying are actually working, and it's not just the simple ones like these. Here's two that shocked me the most. We have a ton of small movement here, and it's going past Justin's face. I thought for sure this would break it, but here we are. And even crazier to me is this shot. This is an old effect we did of Emily opening an energy shield. So to try and break generative extend, I cut the clip here as the effect was beginning, and still it worked. Generative extend actually finished the effect. Of course, this doesn't work every time. In some instances, there is a noticeable shift, but in those cases, you can generate again to see if you find a better result. But also, if your cut happens on some kind of action that requires the AI to translate without much reference, obviously, you won't get the result you want, but they do tend to be hilarious. Look at me, look at me, look at the steez. I'm beaming, I'm up, yeah, I got the keys. Say what you want, but I'm running the field. I'm sexy as fuck and I ain't trying to chill. So I loaded Premiere Pro with a bunch Bunch of clips from older film right episodes to make a game of it. Should I bring out the shot glasses now or later? Sequences in front of you. Each sequence has a clip. And that will do. <laughs> well, we're in the lanes tonight, baby. <laughs> <sighs> what were you saying? Josh and Justin are both connected up to these beauties. This is a muscle stimulator used to relieve pain, but as we've shown before, oh! when you crank it up suddenly, it's Surprising. So we have a bunch of clips in different sequences for Josh and Justin. One is the original clip, the other one is the extended, and they have to guess if that clip is going to extend well. If it does, nothing happens to them. If it doesn't, they get a little surprise. All right, the clips. one more shot and then we'll decide. Okay. All right. Cheers. To pain, number one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. I boped. Okay, here we go. Number one. I don't know. Dude, oh, these, are, these are all look like you would have a hard time. Uppercut the butt. Mm. Okay, I think the probably the most safe one is number two. It's a 50-50 oh. chance. That's some fun, you know what I mean? You know you what? Get final answer. Some you good, know what? clean fun. What do you think? Let's what do, do you think? Live. Uh, okay, here we go. We're watching. Oh, oh son oh. of a Hello. Go! <laughs> He's done my... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna keep doing that. And between us, none of the clips we chose are gonna extend well. We exclusively pick things we knew wouldn't work. We made some in the old beta, you know, just, just to make sure of it. Go! But this latest release is all 4K now. With the beta, everything had to be 1080 max, but not anymore. It does need an internet connection since it utilizes a cloud AI model, so Generative Extend won't work offline, which, like you, made me immediately ask the question, is this training off my work? And the answer is no. None of our footage is being used to train AI, which is obviously a must. But what about organic elements like fire or water, like this shot here? Not only does it work, but we have the proper 
reflections continuing in those posters. Then a shot I thought for sure would break it is this here. I cut it right at the water covering his face and still it works. It isn't perfect, but I'm genuinely surprised at that. Which, speaking of. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Do any of them work? Is this sabotage? I don't know. I have trust issues, I think. You want a drink, bro? Let's, let's get her up. Let's top her off. <laughs> Cheers. Go. Cheers. To you. Uh, all right, what do you think? Four? I have no thoughts. Just make a decision. You son of a bitch. Okay, here we go. Justin's gonna look like an idiot. Oh, God! <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Oh, He's wow. Ah! Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I just hit an octave I didn't know I could hit. That was against my will. That was a non-consensual scream. That was a oh, guys, I shit my pants. It does matter where you start the extend too. Like with this shot, for instance. If I start the extend at this point, the explosion doesn't complete well at all. But if I give it just a little more reference to go off of, it completes pretty well. Same if we go back to this water shot. If I start the extend here, it does take the water down past his face realistically, which is impressive. But then we get this ending that doesn't work. But honestly, I'm blown away that it works at all. I also tried extending multiple times, so I would extend clip, then render replace, then extend again. Of course, this leads to odd results, but that was the hope. In some instances, purposefully breaking this is kind of interesting. People disappearing through things, shots breaking down in fascinating ways. I could see me using this for unique transitional elements, like a motion graphics assist. You can also extend audio. This works well for extending ambience or room tone. You have more limitations here. The clips need to be at least three seconds long. And at times, I'm getting a shift in the levels and a dropout of low end, with the shift to the generated audio, but we can match that with levels and EQ here easily enough. It does a solid job with sound effects as well, like with this here. The AI does a great job adding a realistic trail off at the end of the sound. The downside to audio is that it will not extend any music or audio with dialogue. And for that reason, when I tried to extend some drone sounds or even a long destruction sound, Premiere Pro read that as music and couldn't complete the generative extent. Oh, did this one work? I don't know. Let's see if it works. I such an idiot. We're just gonna go through them at this point because I know none of them will work. <laughs> will it extend, Ryan? And no, it doesn't. DVD. And then here we go, Not riding good. on the thing. Not go. And oh, just... oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will scream no more. <laughs> will it extend? Uh, it's a... Will it extend? No, it won't. It, needs it to be won't water. extend. Because Ryan did this. He's not even going to show real ones. This isn't, this is for his entertainment alone. You know what it's going to do in the stand-ups? It's going to be like, we pick only the bad ones. The real good ones are actually over here. That's, I'm telling you, that's what the episode is going to be. I'm just wait and use this as a cut to. None of the clips we chose are going to extend well. Because Ryan did this. But all of this is wild and it's the first release. So it's only going to get better with time. And Adobe has released a few other features, like I mentioned before, like the search panel, which we have talked about before, but it's worth mentioning again because it's great. I dropped a ton of Film Riot episodes into this project, which it will analyze in the background. And I can now check on that process by going to Window, then tap Progress to see what's been analyzed so far. Once that's done, you can tap this magnifying glass in the upper right corner or go to Window and tap on Search. Here, you can search through visuals, text, metadata, or everything, and Premiere Pro will pull up anything relevant to that keyword. So I'll type in something normal like diaper and very quickly Premiere Pro will find anything relevant to that keyword like this clip. I'm a man, baby. Which is something we filmed and put on the internet while sober. We can also try single words like karate. <laughs> screaming. Or longer things like Ryan being an absolute smoke show. And here's the thing, I was joking, but it actually found it. So it's not just single words, you can get very specific, like punched in the face, and there we go. Or this one shocked me too, man watching toys dancing on a desk. And again, it found the clip. So as you can see, this is easily the most useful feature Premiere Pro has come out with in a long time. The amount of editing time this will cut down is bonkers. Okay, sure. Here's one more. <laughs> 
This is so wild. <laughs> All right, so we'll go to the last one. So I already, back to your I, yeah, it's my pick. None of these work, Ryan. There hasn't been a single one that worked. I know it's a lot. And it's what's crazy is it's like, I'm willfully being like, yeah, sure, why not? Let's press play and see that it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, nice. We just, oh. oh, we kissed. <laughs> we kissed. Yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> ah, turn it off. Son of a <laughs> you, <laughs> You're a bastard. Oh my God. It just kept going. My fingers <laughs> We also have the color management tools for more accurate color work and caption translation to translate your projects into different languages. So I'll just create regular captions inside of the text window and we have those here now. Automatically created and playing out perfectly. So now I'll tap here and then hit translate captions. And we have our captions in another language, which we can change again to another. And none of it was written by us. Adobe automatically does everything, making this a quick and easy solution for anyone wanting to create subtitles for a language outside their own. And finally, Adobe has made performance improvements, which is always very much appreciated, but Premiere Pro feels more fluid. Everything from playback to project responsiveness, it just all feels faster. After Effects also got some love with a completely redesigned playback system that's no longer limited by RAM, meaning you can preview longer and more complex comps without waiting. HDR workflows have also been improved across the board, and 3D work is faster and more intuitive, especially with features like animated environment lights. And Speaking of environment lights, which this has nothing to do with environment lights, but let's check in on Josh and Justin. So let's keep going. Oh man, and the oh, Red Bull's sorry. gone. Okay, dude. Which means so is my spirit. I mean, at this point, I know, we know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> God, I hate my brother, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, of course, yeah. That it, is it a trip. Looks like a dimension. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> but those are the new updates to Premiere Pro and After Effects, which feel like a bigger leap than we've seen in a while. Of course, I am curious to hear what you think, so let us know in the comments below. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit. Actually, one more. Hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. I think right, this here qualifies as Here's the last one. The last jokes. one. <laughs> oh my god! That was the I hate you, Renee! I'll see you later. Ta-ta.